Alright, um, today we're going to deal with uh, developing and rebuilding black communities. And we got a lot of people that are talking about the issues that are going on in black communities. But uh, it's important for black people to, if they're saying that they want to fix black communities and they're saying that they're ready to deal with some of the inferiorities um, that they've allowed to, to take over black communities, um, then the first thing that they need to start focusing on, because they've lost a lot of black communities, and back in the day, um, you would have a group of black people or one black person if they were able to afford it, um, get that block of land and take down whichever houses uh, were dilapidated to the point where they couldn't be salvaged. Remember, um, many of your ancestors, and we're going to do a show about reclaiming your ancestral burial grounds, where your people are. You should be wondering, where did white people bury all of your ancestors that they killed and that died? Where are those people at? Where are those bones buried? There are thousands of mass graves all over the place. And you have whites that have developed different properties and whatnot on top of those graves. You need to start asking, where are my people buried? Where did you bury, you know, all those slaves that you hung? Where are they? Where are their bones? Y'all need to start asking that. And we're going to do a show to, to go through the steps that you need to go through to really start finding your ancestors, finding those bones, finding where those the, they're buried, uh, so that you can start reclaiming those burial grounds. But as far as development goes, you guys have got to start uh, that developing uh, black communities for black people. If you, I, I see black people accepting all kinds of stuff. And we're going to have a show about how white folks were able to get you to accept every perversion under the sun. I mean, you're accepting everything now. When it comes to developing, look at each block. Get a piece of paper and make a map of the blocks around your block. Now, start with your block in the middle and make a map of your city, your, uh, at least the, the 13, um, your block and the 12 blocks around you. Make a map of that so that you know what you're dealing with between now and December 31st of 2019. And you roll up your sleeves and you make the decision that if I have to start by myself, that's fine. As each day that I'm out there or each day that I, I'm working on it, uh, you're looking for other people that feel the way you do. And they're out there. Um, you can start today. Start looking around at your community. Or go back and visit the community, the black community that you're abandoning. And go back and look and see. Um, yes, it's going to be heartbreaking to see what it has become. But I want you to look at it. Uh, walk all the way around what used to be your block. And see the, the possibilities. Look, walk around your block. Um, see how many houses are left. See how many empty fields are already uh, ready for you to start developing on. And start you know, take a pad and, and pen and start seeing what you can put in that uh, block of real estate and that block of land to start rebuilding things and start developing those communities back to the way that you know they're supposed to be. Okay? So. <laughs> Y'all know us, the way we do things. Uh, if I'm still here and we're still here. Uh, we're going to deal with some things. Okay.